this is David and Susan again from the True Blue Sand Blog and on our YouTube channel uh, a person, one of the viewers wanted me to talk more about how to do a bore cut <clears throat> so we're gonna we're gonna bore cut one here so you can see how we do that on your chainsaw when it's running the bottom side of this bar pulls that saw away from you and if you're cutting with this side up here when it's cutting when that side is cutting it's pushing back to you you want to remember that now what happens out here on this corner this upper corner they call it the kickback corner where this chain is turning that corner if this part of the chain that part of the bar hits anything uh, while you're cutting it will kick back violently and we have a break on here that should set to keep you from being cut terribly bad <clears throat> but you have to realize this uh, chain is running about 45 mile an hour that's 66 feet per second and let me see do I have yeah I got it here there we go I've got a tape here and in six inches we've got one two three and a half so we've got about seven seven teeth per foot and at 66 feet per second seven teeth per foot is 492 cuts so if that chain touches you for one second you get you can get cut almost 500 times so you don't want to kick back if that uh, if you get a kickback and that and that brake doesn't work, you can have one heck of a lot of cutting done to your body in a in just a brief second. So you don't want this to touch anything when it's running unless you've got it buried already. And the kick the key to bore cutting is you have that corner buried when you're cutting. Now this lower corner that's our attack corner this is what we want to start a bore cut with right in here and uh, when you're bore cutting of course you want your chain sharp you don't want your depth gauges uh, cut too deep if you set your depth gauges too too deep uh, the saw gets grabby and it won't bore cut right uh, anyway you run wide open with a sharp chain and as you're bore cutting, you have a firm grip on that saw because you have to steer it. As you're pushing through wood with this saw, the chain is going around this end. And it is trying to pull the chainsaw that way. So that's important on uh, how you set up your cuts. If I bore cut from this, if I, I'm going to put my face here. My hinge is going to be right down here. If I bore cut from this side, as I bore cut, the chainsaw is trying to go to the back of the tree. That's no problem. If I cut from the other side, it's trying to cut out into the hinge. So <clears throat> you can do that really well once you learn how to bore cut. But you want to be aware of that the first few times you try it, you're liable to blow out your hinge. And in a chainsaw class, you'll see people blow out their hinge when they cut from, so when they, if they cut so the hinge is over here, that thing wants to crawl right over and cut out your hinge. So uh, now, one of the loggers you'll see on YouTube is Nuts319, and boy, heck, that guy is really good. And you'll see him start bore cuts up here. But what he's doing, he's getting that saw trapped first. He starts to cut like this, and he, he rolls it in easy, and that, that top of that bar is trapped before he really is into the bore cut. Uh, don't try that. <laughs> don't try that until you're really... Uh, are at one with your saw. I don't do that because it's it's easy to screw up. So anyway, I'm going to fire up here, make my face, and then we're going to do a bore cut. And I'm going to going to cut it high here so we have room to do a few extra bore cuts afterward. And you can watch that up close from above and see how that's going. Okay, I'm going to fire up.
got our face now. That's the front of the hinge. Start my bore cut over here. I'm going to angle it so it comes out somewhere back here. Hook my dogs in and rotate and get my hinge to the right thickness there. So I'm going to fire up now. Up. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put my ear on. Now I've got the bottom of that dog stuck in the anchor at my thickness over here. I'm going to start her up again. Okay, now what I did is I rotated it around that bottom dog to get my thickness set all the same all the way through. And when you finish your cut, uh, don't pull the saw out. When you finish your cut, let your finger off the trigger. So uh, we'll run, do some more bore cuts after we drop her down. Or actually, I could do one right now for you again. Uh, when you're doing a bore cut, remember you start, you gotta have a sharp chain. Don't have it, the depth gauge is set too deep or it gets grabby. Um, you start with your bottom corner. After you get it started, you rotate it in and push it in the direction you want. When you get through the other side, you let your finger off the trigger, let it stop. Uh, what happens if you yank it right back out while it's still running, you'll cut your hinge out and you don't want to do that. So I'll just do another one right here and before we cut this loose and you'll see how we do that again. knock that down we'll do a couple bore cuts that you can observe from above as I go through I'm gonna put my ears back on
I got that many good angles. Can you do yeah. one more? Yeah, I can do one more. Um, <clears throat> I want to talk just before I do it. Okay, and then I'm going to, okay. Yeah, when you, uh, if you take a class from uh, uh, a game of logging instructor, one of the things they, they'll do after they show you how to bore cut is they'll set up a, a, a stump so they have a, uh, they'll have a piece sitting out here. And what they want you to do is make your bore cut and stop before you tag that thing. And it sounds impossible. I don't think I've ever done it right, but I've seen people do it. The trick is, as you're pushing through, you're going to see a puff of cuttings come out of there before the saw comes through and touches it. And you got to stop quick. <laughs> so we'll see if I can. I don't think I can do it. We'll give it a try. I'm going to move this out a little bit, give myself a little wiggle room there. I saw that puff come out and I did not touch it. And there, right down here, see the, you see one tooth out there. Move in close. See one tooth. If you ever have to do that, you want to be watching for that puff of cuttings and don't be pushing too hard. So that's how you do that. It's the first time I've ever done that successfully. So wonders never cease. Okay, thank you very much for watching. We appreciate. Uh, all our viewers, we appreciate the comments, and if you have a question, go ahead and throw it in a comment, and we'll see if we can help you. We'll be uh, looking at, uh, somebody had some questions on filing, we'll be doing a brief video on that soon. So, anyway, catch you later. Thanks much for coming.